everybody, welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. Today, um, we're going to do some brief things to get cleaned up at the steampunk build that is over there by the town hall. And, you know, Snow has said that I need to learn redstone. It's a thing. So I'm going to meet with him after a little bit and definitely work on something called a secret door of secretness that I think would be a fun project for me to do and to learn about. So we're going to meet over here with him in just a little bit. And I'm kind of looking for some of my redstone items, if I even have any. I'm going to have to just make them. I'm going to need pistons and redstone and some repeaters is basically what we're going to end up needing. So let's see if we can find ourselves any of those items. And I think surely I have some. i got to have some smooth stone to do it with and some redstone torches. Let's see if there's any redstone over here. It'll be fun. Doo -doo -doo. Lord, if I don't have any redstone, whatever will I do? I'm pretty sure I have some. Maybe not. Oh my. I've given it... Oh, there's the bare minimum. That's probably not enough. So we'll have to go find a few bits of redstone. I think I might have some scrolled away down here. Let's just look. Sometimes I put things in strange places. Look, there's a little bit more. You know, redstone's just not the top of mind awareness for me of things that I might actually need. I really don't think I'm having any in here either. So yeah, that's all just enchantment stuff. No worries. We'll gather up all the things we need, and I'll meet you guys back over there with snow at the uh, the steampunk build. So we'll be there in just a little bit, guys. See you soon. Okay, people. Well, I'm back here in the deepest bowels of Lapis Lorry's, well, what I could only assume is a dungeon of some sort, and <laughs> I don't really, uh, I don't really know. It's it's got you know bricks, and it's so hello. How are you today? I'm good, Snow. Very good, thanks. How are you? I'm pretty good myself. I'm having a lot of fun over here at the Hypermind server, and today's going to be extra fun because I'm looking at this opening here, and I think you may have mentioned that you wanted a secret entrance of I, some sort. I do. I think it would be really cool to have a secret entrance here, and then you can just arrive by the waterfall and leave by the waterfall, like super secretly, after you get out of the hole in the ground here. Oh, <laughs> and do you want do you want something here that, uh, so you just, when it's closed, it just looks like part of the mountain, is that right? I think that's what I want it to be, is that so nobody really knows it's here. Um, now, once you approach it, if you there's like a button or something, I think that would be okay, because it's, it wouldn't be necessarily obvious. But yeah, I... Well, we could hide... Yeah, we could hide. Uh, we could hide. However, you get in and out with a lever or button or something, we can we can work that out. Make okay. make it little, even more super secret. That would be great. So, um, we go, we're going to need some materials. Mm -hmm. And have yeah, do you have? Because this is um, yeah. I'm a, I'm a subcontractor, so you need to supply all the things all the things for me. Everything we need in a chest in here. I have got a lot of repeaters, a bunch of pistons. Now I do have to go get some uh, slime balls to make sticky pistons, but um, yep. I have everything else that we need, I believe. So um, that is ready to go, and it's all in here. And I all did, right. I took the liberty of digging out some area that so that we have room to work. And if we need to replace some of this, I'd be happy to help do that too. Whatever you need to do. No problems. Okay. Well, um, what we'll uh, what we'll do is we'll check what you've got. Uh, come back in a moment. Uh, just make sure we've got everything we need to build this, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. So back in a sec, guys. Okay. All right, people. Well, we're back here, and in this lovely chest, we've got lots of stuff. This particular design uh, is symmetrical, and. Uh, Lapis Lori, are you? How good at redstone are you? I, I, I don't know quite the level of your. I'm as, and as good as my instructor. Let's put it that way. Okay. What? How good are you when you don't have an instructor? I just don't know the level mm. of your redstone. I would say skill. very amateur. I'm a very good amateur. Uh, I can oh. follow a tutorial. I okay. could not create things on my own. I would think. I can make hoppers. All right. I'm great at hoppers. Okay. So we're going to make a two by two uh, hidden door. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, hidden from the outside, and it's symmetrical. So you should be able to copy it as I go. So to start with, um, let's grab what we need. Right. I have my half, and so what is in there is yours. You can you've, you okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that. I'm going to grab uh, some repeaters. We're going to need that, and we're going to need some dust. And that is all. This is a pretty simple door. The, the actual mechanism to open and close it may be a little bit more complicated, but just to get it working, oh, we might need a lever. Have you got one of those? Uh, no, but all I right, can tell make you what, you make, you, 
you make a lever and I'm going to uh, just work out where this thing's going to go. All right, so we're just going to put some filler blocks in here so we can tell where this door's going. And I think just next to the water there will be mm -hmm. the least um, obvious place that people would expect a door. I think so. And we're going to need some uh, filler blocks underneath. All right, and let me just have a look here. Okay, so we are going to need. This is going to be a bit cr a bit uh, a bit tight here to work, but we can do it. All right, so we'll start with some pistons, and you're going to do one side. I'm going to do the other. All right. And you're going to need. Two there like that. Like so? Ta-da. Yeah, and this that's will it. Push the door um, back and forth so that it's hidden, right? Okay. I get that. Yep. I'm gonna put some blocks on this and side then two away. You're gonna need not like that. We're gonna need it really doesn't want to go the way I want it to go. Like that. So you're gonna need four in a block close to it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna pillar up because this is yeah, starting to be, annoy um, me. All right. Above the angle, I think. To place you got to be really on the angle. Okay, there we go. So we need four pistons like that. All right, there's two. Well, let me get the other one over here. <laughs> Ta -da, done. All right. Okay, <laughs> and we're going to. Get rid of these two blocks there. Cleared. Well, we need a stack. You're going to bring behind it. Okay. You're going to bring one one down like that. Stair stepped. Okay. Ah, uh, there's there's none behind none behind here. Oh, oh that doesn't really matter, but. Okay. Well, fine. <laughs> All right. Whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah. So now we need to. Bring one out like that, and I'm converting all your smooth stone into cobble. We're getting close now. We need to um, now we need we need a half slab actually. So yes. I'm going to grab just a couple a of those. Bench over here for that. I can make some as well. Normally, normally this is built without all this being cleared out, which makes it uh, makes it a little easier. But we we can work with this. It just makes it nice and clean this way. You can make it how you want to. Put a repeater there. Underneath, okay. Facing in. Yeah, underneath. That's it, one tick. Okay. Okay, and... Do we need bring some dust around like that. Okay, and it's got to go up the stairway here. No, not yet. Oh, look what you've done. Yours a little different. Okay. Make a make a make a little L shape like that. Oh, nice. Oh, and you put another repeater in. All right. All right. Yeah, put another repeater in on three ticks like that. Okay, done. And if, if All right. People watching my stuff, I have to explain. One tick is how it goes naturally. And then if you click it once, that's two ticks, twice is three ticks, and the maximum is four ticks delay. I just have to explain that for my yeah. viewers, because I, they know I don't know, so I've studied. I did some homework. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, the first, the f default, yeah, first starts at one tick, not zero ticks. Mm -hmm. So we can bring that around like that, and to make this work, um, we'll put the lever in in a moment. Okay. Now we're going to need a... A little wall like this. Okay. And a half slab there. So this and is then redstone can travel but won't cut a wire of redstone. Correct? Here I'm gonna make a little room for that's this. right. Alright. And oh you are And then you're gonna need it. another one like that. Yeah. And you put another one right and 
Oh, on top. Okay. Got it. Boom. Do we need to clear out some stuff on top? Do we not have enough space? No, we're good. We're good. All right. And this is this is the fun bit. We're gonna we're gonna dust over the top and meet in the middle. Ready? Go. Oh, oh! I, I dusted your dust. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, um, that I think that's that's it. All right. I think that's it. And in theory, if I grab, did you have a lever? I do. What? Here, I'll give you one that you, okay. or several that you where, can use. Where that? No, no. You, you, you put it down. Where that repeater I just put, you put it there. Here? Is that where uh, you yeah. just put it? Turn it on. Yeah, turn it on. Turn it off. We got oh. a half, half a deal. Uh, half, a, half, a, half a problem there. Um, let's, just, let's just make a way up. And out, so we've got three there, and hmm. let's turn that on again. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, let's remedy that by getting rid of this. Okay. And oh, it doesn't connect to the other side there, does it? Just, just yeah, that's what's going on. So that's temporary, and but we want to just. Well, the stairs don't have to be there. It was just so we can get in and out. Oh, look, things are All working. Right. Oops. I'm still only no. halfway. What? Oh, you see? I haven't put I haven't put my own redstone on there. Okay. <gasps> what up? And oh, I haven't because done the top I didn't, of mine either. You didn't. Yeah, so we're all You didn't. And now Now it works. Close. Oh that one well, doesn't grab the no wood. Cigar. It oh, doesn't grab the I, wood. No. Yeah, yeah. We've still got a little bit more to do. We there can't and get there. Rid of this. I don't think this and iron there needs and to there. be there. I can't hop in, up here and see what's going let's on. Put, let's put all this. Up. Let's put redstone on top. And oh, now we're in business. Look at that. You you, you can't see from up there. Make it go. I want to see it from this so side. So if we get okay, let's get rid of the rain because that's twenty four seven around here. It is quite a bit. I'm anxiously awaiting all the goodness that's going to come. <gasps> it nearly shoved me off the side. Okay, next. That's cool. And we just walk right in. See? Perfect. All right. So let's let's change. If you change out the wood for stone, all right. we'll see what it's like outside. Oh. See, it just looks like regular stone. You can't even tell. And, it and now it's gone. All right. Okay. Now, can you can you please flip, flick the lever for me so I, I can see will? it working? Because... Okay, are you ready? All right. Ready? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, open it up. There you go. All right, we might make a cut here and work out how we're going to put the button or what we're going to use to open and close it from the outside. Okay. And we'll be back in a sec. Yep. Hi, guys. Well, we're back here and we have put a entrance and exit button, which works like this. You push this, you can leave... Oh, oh, and I just uh, were you a bit slow there? <laughs> I was. I didn't run very fast. <laughs> how did it? How did that? How did oh, that feel? Oh, how'd that feel? About the same as that little spider right there. That's it. That's how it felt. That's okay. All. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, Lapis Lurry, if you can do the honors, and I'll show right. everyone the door open, so and then the I'll let you do door. the same thing. Anybody? Go. I made it. Okay. Can you come back out here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So. Click this button you, your and go. peeps can see it. And I made it. Okay. All right. And so there's the invisible right. door. All right. So I'm over here. I, I see. Hello. It. Hi, hi. All right. Push that, and through we go. That's amazing. And it closes behind us. You don't even know what's So there. what do you think of all this? That's great. It's awesome sauce. Here, I'm gonna come in now. I'm gonna make it. All right. Now I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show the guys and girls. Just very quickly, this is could be a bit complicated for some people, but all we've got is a uh, button coming off this wall here. There's a little bit of a delay just to give people time to get through the door. And the same on this side. There's a button just here, and it just lights up this line here and actually goes into this strange comparator arrangement, which is a, called a fading clock. And all that does is power up, turn this torch off, the door's open. So, 
Lapis Lori, if you wouldn't be so, uh, if you'd be so kind as to push the button for me, and I'll just show this okay. comparator clock in action. There it is. So it lights up, and you can see it there, just fading off, and then the door closes. So that's all there is to it, really. Um, it's a cool little door. It's not very complicated, and I had a lot of fun building it for yeah. you, with you. Thank you. Did you? Yeah. Enjoy I, that? I learned a little cool. bit about uh, the comparator clock too over there that helps delay the signal. I think that's useful for me to learn about. So thank you for that. It is. It is a handy little. Um, it is a handy little circuit, and it can be used for all sorts of things. So if ever you need to reference it, you can always come back here, have a look behind the scenes, and it's it's all good. Yeah. Well, that's been great. I've got to get onto us some other things. So thanks for having me over here in the uh, deep dark, whatever this place <laughs> is. Bottom I'm of sure the, one day you'll tell me about yeah, it. One day. Um, yeah, yeah. No problem. I mean, I'm going to clean this up and make it look a little, look a little better, and that'll probably be. As what long as I'm invited, today. as long as I'm invited, as long as I'm invited here as a visitor, not a prisoner, oh, I'll, I'll be absolutely. happy. Absolutely, you can come visit anytime, Snow. You're like All good right. friends. You're the you're the neighbor. Awesome stuff. Oh, oh, hey. oh sorry. Oh. I just was trying to wave oh. goodbye. <laughs> See how okay. that works. <laughs> I better go and now. Bye bye. Bye. Get, get. He's on. He's coming on fire. Did you see that? Oh. All right, Snow did a really good job helping me with this door, and it was nice to learn some things about the redstone. Now, granted, I may never be an expert at this, but I am learning little bits at a time and how things function and how to do things. So, you know, just about using the redstone signals, what repeaters do, how you can make those activate different things is kind of a nice thing to learn. Uh, like I said, I may never be an expert, but it's good to have these things in your in your back pocket just in case you need things. So I'm going to be busy here for the next few minutes uh, cleaning this up making it look nice so that it looks like something that's kind of cool to play with and do. Now I just got to make sure I don't um, alter the redstone in any way and that's fine I can certainly do that and I'm just gonna build walls up kinda like what I have here like this doesn't have to be here this is all just a remnant I had thought well wouldn't it be kinda cool to have like an extra room down here just for storage like a personal space it's not um, like if people come to visit the uh, LL property management that is not just open to the public so other people can uh, not see all this. This is like private residence. Now I realize there's a bedroom upstairs but it's more of a storage facility um, and I may just move the beds down here so that it's it's my area to stay and live. Um, and this is actually a little shortcut that goes over to my build on the other side like my actual townhouse so that'll be like an underground way to go there which I think is kind of a neat thing. Um, you know it's just always fun things in Minecraft. They don't always have to be like simple easy things. It could just be a fun, entertaining way to get around. Um, I do want to maybe wall this part of it off too, so that this part is not part of these, this area. So um, that's going to be something that I'll do. I, don't, I may not do this part of it on camera here with you guys, but I think I want to show you a little bit of what I'm working on with the rest of this. And there's plenty of stone. That's part of the reason I dug out a lot of this, so there was things to build with here. Um, Granted, I know I used a lot of iron, but that's just part of the availability. Look, I just totally use regular stone here. Instead, instead of this, this is what we want. At least parts of this at the bottom half. Um, and then we will worry about including different things. Now, I don't mind this being iron over here. That doesn't really bother me one way or the other. Um, but I will, f whoops, fill that part of it in so that's there. And then we can put regular stone there. Um, and I'll worry about closing this off for a room at the top of this, probably at this level where this is. I think that'll be all right, and keep that closed up. And we'll clean it up. Now there is like a drop area here underneath the stairway that I might include, like a quick drop water, so that if you wanted to come down here quickly, you can. Uh, and then to leave, you'd have to use the secret exit or some other way to get back upstairs. I'll just have to look at it. It's an ongoing process. I'm kind of done with the build upstairs. And so for this part of it, we're just going to clean it up and make it look nice. So um, I think I'll cut here and just kind of finish that up and bring you back for a finished reveal. Okay, guys, see you soon. All right, we have cleaned up the area here in our secret room under the steampunk base. Now, this may not be the finished product, but it's cleaned up for now. There's no like real raw edges and the opening behind me is fixed. I did run into one area where the redstone here in this little corner, if you look right here, I couldn't build the wall right there because there's a piece of redstone dust and that's fine. I just made this hallway a little bit longer out towards the room and I started a stairway here down to an extra room that's going to be a, a lot of additional storage for me and you know who knows what I'll do. I'll probably make a nice tunnel that goes underground to the townhouse so it's easy access there. 
Um, you know, the secret dealings of the, the, the Lapis Lori Property Management Company. We'll use our door one more time as we go out to the secret entrance, and we can use the waterfall to get where we need to go. Check it out. And from here, when we get out, you can't even tell there's a door there. It's amazing. I want to thank Snow Crash for coming and helping me with that. And his channel will be linked down in the description below. Please go visit him and tell him how much you enjoyed his help. And, uh, you know, check out some of his good content. He's a great redstone guy and a great builder. So thank you for joining me here on Hypermind Vanilla today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Leave a like if you enjoyed the show. It means a lot to me. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.